Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Let's see which pieces we get. We got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Okay, bishop f4. We play pawn e3, trying to develop the lights for bishop as well. Sorry, not there, but here. Um. Okay. Of course, we can't take it, so we have to go back. Develops his bishop there. I can play pawn forward so that if he takes, I take with the bishop and that attacks his queen. In spite of that, he takes. Also, the threat is I've opened up the file for the attack, so I'm going to use it sometime or the other. Okay, I take this. He takes with the knight. Queen here doesn't do much actually. So I develop the knight first. Maybe go here as well. Oh, he himself comes in with the knight. I just play pawn forward for now. He might be thinking yes. F5. Okay, we go on with the knight maybe. The idea is to give a check and spoil his Catholic rights. He does take. I can take back. He can still give a check and spoil his castling because he can save with the queen or move the king. So he does decide to move the king instead. He can take his knight air as well. Well, uh, the king is in the center and you want to always take advantage of that. I develop the knight, maybe trying to go uh, over to, uh, sorry, track pile is giving hard time today. I mean, knight to b5 maybe. Or I can now first of all castle, giving a check. Let's see where the king goes. Oh, okay. We'll go here, trying to maybe give a check from this place. Yeah, that's fair enough for now. Um, knight can hop in here is one option. We can go with queen here is other option because I'm going to put my rook here. And yes, now definitely I can take this and give him a check and he loses the queen and resigns. So yeah, that falls up pretty quick in the game. Let's analyze the game quickly once from computer perspective if we did something wrong in between or it was just the opponent who blundered. We start off with d4, opponent starts with e6. Uh, I play bishop f4, he responds with d5. Pawn to e3, standard moves in the London system setup where you can you want to develop a, a strong pyramid in the center uh, and take out your bishop first before closing its diagonal by moving this pawn forward. And here uh, my opponent responds with g5, which is weakening off his king side already. That's why computer suggesting that white has the advantage of one over one point right away. So I go back. Uh, what's the best move? Yes, that's the best move. And here he fian carries his bishop on g7. Now. Uh, this is generally not the right way to play, I would say, because already you have weakened up your pawn, so the opponent is going to go for it straight away. That's what I do. I play h4, the best move in this situation as well. And then he takes the pawn as well. Uh, and that uh, makes me take it back with the bishop, and I'm eyeing his queen already, which he tries to defend. Computer suggesting that he can come back and let his uh, bishop stand there. Problem with him and his structure would be, a, he cannot castle on the king side now because, of course, the g7 pawn is not there. Also, uh, 
if you notice uh, his knight hasn't been developed now and if he tries to develop it on e7 or h6 respectively both are not going to help his situation also he needs to develop his light square bishop and queen to cast on the queen side otherwise king is going to stay in the center throughout and that's what is most likely to happen so he tries to exchange the bishop and i still take that because i thought that was advantageous he takes back with the knight instead of the queen and i develop the knight here on f3 yes i can play queen to uh, f3 as well but the problem with that is i'm taking away my knight's natural square of development also my queen is not doing here anything because the knight is guarded and i can't take advantage of that so i develop the knight to f3 uh, he gets his knight in between the knight on e4 now if i take he takes with the pawn and then i have to move my knight again so i wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen straight away i'm not moving my same piece again but first of all creating a pyramid in the center with a solid pawn structure so that there's no harm uh, in with it now my opponent responds with f5 uh, that is of course not the right move because he is just weakening up the diagonal towards the king uh, so that's one challenge now and that's why i go with knight to e5 straight away trying to exchange the knights but computer suggesting i can first pin the knight and probably when he saves it then we can take it and after he does take now we go in the center because that would put more pressure on the f7 we can definitely take bishop as well and spoil his pawn structure further uh, and we can have we have this queen coming on h5 but i rather went with knight straight away he does take i take back and still as you see white is in advantage throughout uh, the game so far now he plays queen e7 and we give a check trying to spoil his castling uh, and instead of offering queen for exchange which was the best move he tries to safeguard the king and now i take the knight and the idea was pretty simple uh, that i want him to take up from the d pawn which is the best move as well and now i can just develop my knight somewhere and just castle on the queen side because then the rook will be on d1 eyeing the king my opponent plays pawn to b6 with the idea of maybe developing the bishop or just trying to run away from uh, c6 and b7 which eventually happened in the game i castle and he has to run away i get my queen towards the side where the king is running so trying to uh, reroute my pieces towards my opponent he goes still back and i go with queen to c4 just trying to find right spaces for my pieces yes i thought of move uh, knight to b5 as well here uh, trying sorry not there but knight to b5 because i have a good square which is uh, d6 and knight cannot be uh, displaced from there unless the opponent sacks a rook for it because my pawn is al always going to protect my knight so that's a good square for the knight but rather i played here queen to b5 and now that's also aggressive one because uh, in some point of time, I'm actually uh, making sure that his bishop never de develops from uh, d7 because otherwise I'm coming in with the rook. And even if that's not going to happen, what I'll try to do is put my rook up on d2 and line up the other rook as well and then go for the same move to, in order to take the queen from the opening. But he blunders instead and plays queen to, uh, bishop to d7 straight away and I take with the rook and he hangs his queen. And thus he resigns. So that was a very solid uh, game, I would say. Just trying to play on the merits. If open plays bad chess in the open opening, just make sure that you punish him rightly. That's the lesson from this one. I hope you like it. Do let me know your feedback and keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Putting in a lot of hard work, making these videos on a daily basis. Yes, there's office work. There's lots of other things in life, but I haven't missed putting up a video on a single day yet. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.